The signs are now here. Don't get lost in the detail. Let your awareness go free. Just recognize what an adventure this transformation is. The appreciation of death and the spiritual journey after death is the prerequisite for living life joyfully now. Death does not have to be treated as an enemy for you to delight in life. Keeping death present in your consciousness as one of the greatest mysteries and as the moment of incredible transformation imbues this moment with added richness and energy that otherwise is used up in denial. I encourage you to make peace with death. To see it as the culminating adventure of this adventure called life. It is not an error. It is not a failure. It is taking off a tight shoe, which you have worn well. But those that find the way in the morning can gladly die in the evening, it is said in the mystical literature. So I encourage you to explore and find in your being that part of you that is on those other channels. So that when on channels one and two, the World Turns series comes to its final chapters, you won't be caught in feeling loss, but rather the adventure. Because from where I'm sitting, life on this plane of reality, because I live in the world of reincarnation, of karma, of life on this plane is like being in the fourth grade. You took birth here because you had certain work to do that involves the suffering you do, the kinds of situations you found yourself in. This is your curriculum. It's not an error. Where you are now with all your neuroses and your problem, you're sitting in just the right place. Imagine that. Imagine that. Nobody made an error. And all that stuff in you of saying, if only, if only, I could be. No, this is it, including the if only. It's perfect. And then at the time you graduate and somebody says, oh, but he died so young. So if you graduate from fourth grade early, big deal, wonderful. Don't get so caught in worshiping life that you lose the balance, that realizing that the spirit is says, live life fully and richly as a partner with God. And at the same moment, don't be afraid of the next thing. Go towards it with openness and with love and not with forbidding. The way that is understood in the morning one can gladly die in the evening. Rain.